my name is Lindsay Hopkins. And I'm Karen Yates. And we're working on a project called Chicago Dream House. Chicago Dream House is a day-long event at the end of May uh, that is taking place in Albany Park. And it basically is blending art and social engagement. We are building a, a, a symbolic house with the community and using that house uh, as a way to begin dialogue around how the economic crisis uh, has impacted the community. Throughout the day we will have sessions. Um, so every, on every hour we may have sessions on community organizing, renters rights, education, and access to education, housing, etc. Um, that's going to be happening in the center of the space, um, sort of being surrounded by this house being built. Um, and then on the outside of that we are going to have community tables. So each table might have their own dialogue, but in terms of... We were actually just talking the other day about this concept of the artist, the role of the artist being sort of a mediator between, in this context, community organizations and um, politicians, aldermen, people who are in roles of leadership, who are sort of creating these systems that we live in, and often times there's, you know, sort of a breakdown in the middle, and I think what we can do as artists is sort of bridge that gap. I just think it's great that the Dream House project is bringing awareness yeah. of what's going on, you know, after the foreclosure crisis, you know, mm -hmm. what's, gonna, what's happening now in our neighborhoods. We are now seeing what is happening in areas near transit corridors like Albany Park. And if people, if investors are going to come in and scoop up these properties, then there's going to be no affordability left in areas like Albany Park. And then what do long-term residents do? They're forced to move. After working so hard to get the neighborhood better and happy that it's getting better, right, they're, we're being forced out. I think we're really excited about the opportunity to work with 3AP and the opportunity to receive funding in this way because this is also a way of getting the community involved and quite literally helping us get the nuts and bolts of this project to build this house and this is a this is a great time for us to really put that final push in and, and get this project on the ground. <laughs>